Hey guys, it's Way Back with another review for y'all today, and today I have part, well, another set from my LEGO Target run, and it's the LEGO Ninjago Cole's Dirt Bike. So I did a review on Cole's Speeder Car, I think, I believe, um, and that was from the new uh, little theme that they got going on, little, uh, I guess, season they have going on with the um, with the Ninjago series right now. Um, but I saw this one and I really wanted it, um, not only for Kai, but I wanted it for Cole at the same time. And I really haven't really gotten like a actual one of these, uh, wow, characters. I wish, can y'all let me know in the comments down below what, what, uh, wow, I don't even know what to call them. Um, just what they are. I mean, on the name, they're called Pyro Destroyer. Um, that's a really cool name, but I definitely just got this set because I really, really love the way it looked. Uh, this is set number 70672, Cole's Dirt Bike, 212 pieces, ages 8 and up, which we don't, really don't, like, pay attention to the actual age. Like, honestly, do we? Like, be honest, we don't really do it. Um, there you go, that's going to be the side view for you right there. And then here's going to be the bottom view, which is upside down, sorry. Here's going to be the bottom view on that. And, and then I got you on the other side right here, that's the bottom. Yeah, I've learned not to go really into detail on the size of the boxes. Um, it's always almost the exact same thing every time. And then you got Cole right here in the minute for your size, and then Pyro Destroyer, Kai, and Cole. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to this set. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, oh, the back of it. Cool. All right. So here you have all of the actual uh, ninjas now. They look completely different from last time I saw them. I haven't seen Neko Ninjago since like season one um, or season two, I think, I believe. But I really love the theming that they have going on right now. A little bit of a change goes a long way. And I believe they're doing very well if they're taking out so many sets. Um, here's a bike right here. You got Kokai and the Pyro Destroyer. And just showing a little bit of a feature with the, I believe, I'm Hoping it's not a stud shooter. Maybe it's a uh, flick fire, but who knows? Let's just see. All right, so let me get to unboxing and building this thing, and I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. All right, so it took me quite a bit of a while uh, to build this one. Um, I know, I just realized that in this set, even though it's 212 pieces, most of the pieces, I have to say, either go into the chain because it has about 26 that you have to put into the chain. Um, and most of the build, obviously, is towards the body. Oh, sorry, whoa. It's basically in the body. Um, something, it's a very good build, not gonna lie. It's better than I really expected it to be. Um, as far as like extra pieces, um, it doesn't really have much. Let me get a good angle on that right there for you. Yeah, that's basically the extra pieces right there. And then like, I don't really count these as extra pieces since they're all weapons and obviously they can really use them. When especially when it comes to stop motion, so you get a good variety of weapons. Um, it does come with a max of five stickers. Uh, the, both sides of these are stickers, the exact same one on the other side. Uh, same thing with this on the other side. Um, and I have to say, let me put you right back. This is a sticker too on the other side. It actually has the exact same as I was saying. Right here, right here, and right here. Um, but yeah, that's literally that. Obviously, I'm not going to get too much into the instruction booklet. It doesn't really go into much detail since this is really a Lego hidden side set. There's no app, uh, app for it. Obviously, you can use a Lego Life if you don't want to use the instruction booklet or you ever you lose it, you can use that. Um, I really uh, really appreciate Lego for creating that, to be honest. That's a really good idea. But, um, yeah, now that he flew. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the Pyro Destroyer. This is the first one I've ever had of this actual character. And to be honest, I really like what they did. Um, obviously, a regular minifigure body um, comes with a shield. Um, got the little handle, pop that off, um, comes with a sword right there with all the other extra swords that you can, you, uh, you have extra, you can definitely give them a different weapon if you want to, I just gave them that one, um, pop off the head, alright, so here's gonna be the 
the printing on the front, the belt, and the legs, which this has quite, oh, sorry, and the feet, wow. Um, this has quite a bit of printing. The detailing is amazing. I definitely love it. Um, it's awesome that Lego has been really up in their game on the far as printing. Um, they're not really uh, um, half-assing it, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, here's going to be the, I guess you could call it armor. Um, got a little bit of a detailing right there. You also got detailing on the other side, and you got a little bit of a stud back there in case you wanted to attach anything to the back. And then here is his head, which just goes right back on. Um, definitely great. It's a really good build. It's definitely a good mold, to be honest. Um, I didn't expect Lego to come out like that, especially with the translucent, uh, orange that they use on the actual head. And they also, if you can't really notice that, they also use orange translucent on the eyes and on the tongue. If I can show you that right there. Yeah. So Lego really has been getting really good into, uh, doing their molds and their printing very well. Um, but yeah. That's Pyro Mon sorry. Pyro Destroyer is what I call it monster for some reason. Alright, and here's Cole. Uh definitely since I last had a Lego Ninjago, obviously he's a, this is a better like sorry. This is a original version compared to the ones that are new right now, because they since it's all I guess video gameized or virtual reality or something like that. I have to watch the show that way I'm not looking like a dummy trying to speak. When it comes to uh, these sets. Um, but yeah. Uh, compared to this one. I have to say I like this version better. That's why I got this set. But I'm glad. I got I got different versions. A um, little bit small build for his hammer here. And you got the little bit of a dragon uh, handle right there. So he comes with two weapons. Or three. Whichever since he has so many extras. Um, the That's going to be his printing for you right there. Um... Not much you can really do, to be honest, when it comes to printing like this, since um, he's completely all black, and it's kind of hard. So I just removed his head. He also has a double-sided face. And then you got the armor right here, so you can just remove his head, and you got the little back detailing right there. Um, I wouldn't say it's armor, I guess. It has, like, a shoulder pad, um, and, like, a little bit of a, com like, I don't even know what to call it guess where you could put the katana i'm really t today is a day i don't even know why i can't even explain what i'm looking at but um yeah cole cole has to be literally my favorite character out of all of the four five i think i think there are six to be honest now i wow see that's that really that's how long i haven't watched it that i'm literally stuck at saying four i was just at the main characters um but yeah here's kai uh, I feel like they almost have the almost exact same printing compared, but all just that that's just me almost. Um, that's gonna be the leg printing right there for you, and you also have um. The little chest printing. He has a little bit more detailing as far as his uh, uh, side belt that he has going on. Um, but he does have a double sided face. That's his first face, and then the second side is gonna be that one right there. With that little bit of a smirk smile that he has. Um, remove that. And that's going to be his back printing for you right there. So, yeah. Um, overall, characters are very well printed. They, I can tell Lego's been up and up their game as far as printing. Because as far as me collecting Legos, I've always been collecting just Star Wars. And then I really got into just um, other, other themes. And I'm really glad I've been getting into other themes. You guys love when I get into different themes. And just... I am too. <laughs> It really uh, gives me more content to review for you guys, and it gives me more stuff to do as far as stop motion. Um, but yeah, um, this is his uh, dirt bike right here. Uh, this is just one big piece. Uh, this looks like it's an actual sticker. It's not, I promise you. It's basically just a big wheel in the middle, and they also have like an extra... I wish I could remove it for y'all, but it's very in there. But uh, as you can see, it's two different molds, and yeah, so it has Technic pieces to connect the whole thing together. Um, I was actually very worried about how the movement would have been when it comes to it moving, but apparently it just moves very well then. Um, Lego knows what they're doing, definitely. Uh, this is an actual mold. This is not a sticker. Same thing with the other side. Sticker right there. I mean, sorry, mold. This is a sticker. <laughs> and then you can actually lift these three... Uh, uh, 
pieces right there and you actually got the same mold right there uh, which these are literally just technic uh arms compare uh with an actual katana connected to the front of it sorry i'm having such a hard time talking right now for some reason um you only have room for one character to put in there one minifigure um it's a lot bigger than i expected to be honest let me just grab cole and keep talking um uh, it's a lot bigger than i expected to be honest i didn't expect it to be this kind of size um but i definitely am very happy with what i got the everything just flows very well especially in this set um i just thought because i've seen many many sets that just don't really flow very well with the character and especially like for sets like lego marvel and lego batman um or lego dc in general or lego marvel in general it's very hard because you don't really you're going based off maybe the movies or the cartoons that you have um and it's very hard to make sets like that that are very accurate. But at least with a show like this that you can have, you can have act accurate uh, sets to the show. Because you're basically creating the show and then you already got the plan for the actual set. Which I'm glad. Um, so since I said the Technic arm, this is actually connected to a Technic pin right there. Um, if you can't see that. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect it to be this this well built and i'm very happy with this set definitely um but yeah as far as the set i have to i have to give it in my opinion a 10 out of 10 it has to be my favorite set out of the lego ninjago uh series so far and i'm just very excited to see what other stuff they're going to come out with um but yeah this is way with this review for y'all like i said before smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already Hit that bell notification, that way y'all can get notified when I post. I post every single week, and yeah, I will see y'all in the next video.